Welcome to Fishing with Steve D and in today's video we're going to tell you guys where the biggest red claw locations are in Queensland. So stay tuned, at the end of the video we will reveal this plus a couple of bonus tips. Now guys, get involved with this. Um, if you've got any big red claw photos, put them in the comments below guys. And um, yeah, so get involved in this video guys. We want to find the biggest red claw in Queensland. Stay tuned to the end of the video to find out about this. So let's cut away and have a look at some big red claw photos and videos right now. Some good sized ones there folks. But they're nearly asleep, which is great. And the ice keeps them fresh. One tight has got a good one in there. Have a look at the size of these. Claws, wow, that's a whopper. That's what we come for, folks. Happy days. Claw natural waters are, as shown, the top of Weeper, extending into the Gulf and Carpentaria. All other waterways and lakes and rivers are classed as unnatural and red claw must not be returned to the water. This includes young and females with eggs, as they have been declared a noxious species in all unnatural waters. Okay guys, we're just going to show you a little tip here. When the rings in the entrances get rusty, uh, what Ray does, he puts big cable ties in the entrance like that there. So I hope it's not too close, pull it back a bit. So that's a good tip and also very important to do that because if um, the rings get rusty, um, especially the, the bigger uh, 100 mil uh, uh, entrances, uh, the turtles can get in. Uh, especially if you're using cat food, um, tin cat food. Uh, we don't use tin cat food, we recommend using dog biscuits. Also sunlight soap puts phosphates back in the water which is like putting fertilizer in the water. So I wouldn't really recommend that either. Um, stick to the dog biscuits. So there you go guys, there's a little bit of tip that um, works really well for Ray. Ray's been doing it for a lot of years and a lot of great tips. That's how much we got so far. Now they're very docile those um, at the moment because the ice is putting them to sleep. They're pretty much nearly asleep. And uh, it's a good way of, um, of uh, killing them humanely. Well, how about those photos and videos of those massive red claw? Now guys, we're just gonna turn you around and we're gonna show you some of these pots. And um, before I uh, reveal the top six big, biggest red claw locations in Queensland. So let's turn you around. Okay, so here we have a couple of pots. I'm just gonna talk about these pots in a second but we've got a bonus deal. So another best bait for red claw is a good old block of cheese. Um, I know people who are using cheese and doing really, really well on the red claw. Uh, they put a hole through the middle and put a cable tie on it, or you can just put it in your bait containers like I would recommend. So the good old cheese, give that a go. And you don't hear a lot about this, but I do know anglers that are doing really, really well with the good old kiwi fruit. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I wouldn't really waste the good um, kiwi fruit. I, what I would do would I'd, I'd um, have use it for dessert the night before, and then you've got all these skins that have got a whole stack of uh, flesh still in there. Put them in the bait containers for your red claw. Don't waste the good uh, flesh off the kiwi fruit. Have it for your dessert, and put the skins because it's a whole stack of fruit still left over there. Okay, 
So let's have a look at these uh, pots just before we reveal the biggest red claw locations in Queensland. Now these are the 70 centimeter collapsible pots. Now these are very, very strong. One of the strongest uh, ones that I've seen on the market. Uh, they've got struts which uh, collapse and fold right down. Now these 70 centimeter pots uh, have been catching up to even over 50 red claw at a time. I do know two of these pots have outfished 16 opera house traps and um, that's a big, big statement guys. So if you want any of those let me know, we'll put you in touch with the right people. Now this is a new pot. This is a new pot called a pyramid pot and I really feel that it's going to be quite good because what will happen, the red claw will walk up the angle and they'll get to the top and they'll fall in and they won't be able to get out. So with the pyramid pots they have to have a minimum of 15 centimeters or 150 millimeters uh, open opening in the top and um, yeah so if you want any of those ones let us know they do stack well together if I undo the bottom um, they'll stack really well together if you want to uh, have a few of them um, sent I can um, organize an order and postage and all that okay so there are the two pots now guys I would like to invite you guys if you've got any big red claw photos um, please send them in put them in the comments below and of course we're looking for the biggest red claw in Queensland okay so without further ado let's reveal what you guys are waiting for in this video the biggest red claw locations in Queensland okay number six is starting with Maroon Dam number five Somerset Dam number four Wyvernhoe Dam number three Lake Samsonvale number two Fairburn Dam and number one location for the biggest red claw in Queensland drum roll Doo -doo 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 -doo. the number one location is Cali Dam in Queensland so I know customers that have come in and said and showed me photos on their phone of red claw growing up to 48 centimeters or 480 480 millimeters that's nearly half a meter guys that is quite huge that is quite huge and um, yeah so guys please like this video if you've got a lot out of it um, and please send in your photographs if if I have missed out your location where you get your big red claw please put it in the comments below guys tell me where you're getting them and what size they are get involved with this guys um, and again I'll just go over the bonus tips but some of the extra best bait for a red claw uh, block of cheese and also the good kiwi fruit you can um, put the scraps and the shells of your kiwi fruit chuck them in your bait containers and these things uh, these baits are doing really really well so there you go guys hope you really enjoyed the video don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel well guys if you really enjoyed this video please smash that like button and also subscribe to my channel and if you want any of these pots please uh, send me a message uh, fishingwithstevd at gmail.com and uh, we'll be able to organize an order for you until next time god bless